Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> today I'm going to show you how to replace your MacBook Pro's hard drive. Um, this is the late 2009 model unibody. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a small screwdriver like this. Um, I don't know what size it is, it doesn't say anything on it. But uh, And your hard drive or whatever you're replacing inside of it. You want to make sure it's completely off and then flip it over and put it on a a soft surface like this and take out 10 screws um, these three up here by the vent these three are longer than all the other ones around it so I'm gonna pause the video so you can do that mine are all out and here they are right here there's the three long ones and then here are the small ones um, make sure you do not lose these because the small ones are very tiny that's what the, that's the screw they're really tiny so make sure you do not lose them and then to take this off put your fingers underneath where the vent is and pull straight up and you can flip this over and then by the vents in here you can dust that out and clean it you, you can get a uh, fiber cloth like this and just kinda dust it dust, dust the case off alright you can put that aside then here's the inside of the MacBook. First thing you're gonna do is, well, people always say ground yourself to touch a piece of metal or something, not in the computer, but on on the table or something. But I'm just gonna touch something in the computer like that. Make sure it's all okay. Um, I'll I'll just let you know what everything is. This is the battery. You do not want to peel this sticker up because if you do, it will start to say void all over the place and it, it's already starting to come up like that. Um, that's where you replace your uh, RAM. You just spread these two things right here and then pull straight out like this. Then there's your RAM stick. Um, but I didn't have to do that because I already have 4 gigs. That's your fan. That is your subwoofer, a small built-in subwoofer. Your speakers are underneath the keyboard. Uh, just take your cloth and kind of, um, kind of dust it out a little bit, especially where the fan is. I'm blowing the fan, <sighs> blow the dust out of there. But then, if you lift it up this way, you can look in there. You can't really see, but right here, that's where the vents are. Just slide your finger across it, get some of the dust out. Um, yeah, but that's your battery, there's your hard drive, and this is your CD-ROM drive. Uh, so to take out the hard drive, you pull this plastic flap up like this. It's going to be a little tough. Oh no, never mind. I forgot a step, don't do that. You, you take out this black bracket right here. Um, oh, this one. This black, uh, before you take out the hard drive, you take out this black bracket right here, touching the CD drive and the hard drive. There's two little screws. There's one here. I'm going to take it out. And then I'm going to put the screw aside. Or the screws don't come out. I thought they did. So yeah, just unscrew them. And they should stay in there, I guess. Make sure you keep this the way it is. Um, the left side has a little thing coming out right there. And the right side doesn't. So just remember that's how it goes in. And then to take out your hard drive, you're going to be careful. And pull it up because there's going to be a cable attached to it right here. So... I'm going to have to, you pull that black thing, hold on, this is going to be kind of hard. Alright, to take the hard drive off, you, you just disconnect this black thing right here. I'm going to have to put my camera down for a second. Hold on, alright, it's disconnected. Okay, so here's my hard drive. I'm going to be careful with that one. And here's, look, the cord. It's got a certain way it's going in there, so just be careful how you do it. Um, this is my other hard drive. I'm going to have to put my camera down again. But it goes in like this. Let's say it's like that. 
you flip it over like this and make sure the small the smaller metal prongs are towards you okay so I'm gonna put my camera down again and plug it in gently like that all right it's in there I just put it in and you can see that this this is my older hard drive and this is my newer one because the newer one has a flap on it so if you want you can put a piece of tape on the other side of this so you can pull it up um, but I'm not going to need to do that you can put your bracket back in place and uh, screw that down carefully not tight though you don't want to screw that down there tight just enough to hold it in Okay, and then just give everything a dust off again before you put the final casing back in. Especially over here. <laughs> dust all that off. Oh, got something under the tab. Um, and then you're going to take your case again, this thing, and you're going to put it on the opposite of how you took it off. You're going to put this part in first towards you, and then layer it down. Make sure it's all in there. And then, like I said, the three big screws go right here. There's one there. Don't force them in. Just let them fall in. Two. Three. And then I'm going to screw those in. And there you go. I'm not going to show you that. I'm, I don't need to show you how to put the little old screws in, but um, you guys probably know how to do that already. But um, thanks for watching. And uh, 